very funny Mr. Paul Ollinger. I used, when I worked at Facebook in the beginning, like 10 years ago, people were like, oh my God, Facebook's so cool. I'm like reconnecting with all my friends. And now they're like, oh, Facebook. Oh, what are you gonna do? Steal my data and sell it to the Russians? Is that what you're gonna do? And I'm like, oh yeah, you know what? The data privacy issue is worse than you think it is. Turns out that for the past 80 years, AT&T and Verizon have been taking their customers' names, addresses, and phone numbers, printing them in a book, and leaving that book on front porches all across North America. It's called the White Pages, and nobody gave a shit about that, right? Like, every serial killer and telemarketer on the planet knew exactly where you live, but now you're afraid that Vladimir Putin is gonna find out that you like Coldplay. Oh, no. Oh, no. I gotta get something out of the way up top. Um, I'm the guy that's been shitting in the pool. That's... <laughs> It's a medical thing. I don't. <laughs> Something to do with lactose, I think. I don't know. Or fiber or something. It's an allergic thing. But it only happens on like Father's Day or Fourth of July. It doesn't happen on a Tuesday in August when nobody wants to be at the pool. It just, you know get excited. It's really bad. Before I got married, I never imagined I would ever hear this phrase, I'm not going to have sex with you until you clip your toenails. I never imagined I would ever hear that phrase. But I said it, you know, I said it because you know, it's like, I looked at her and I'm like, baby, you're a beautiful woman, but you've got some talons down there right now, and I'm on blood thinners, and you know, if you cut me while my heart rate is elevated, I'm gonna bleed out all over these Ralph Lauren sheets that we got at Ross Dress for Less, and I'm sorry. It took me three hours to find a pillowcase to match the dust ruffle, and I'm not going back to that house. I want to say thank you to the old guys who uh, walk around the locker room with no towels on. I want to say, say thank you to guy, you guys, because I've been trying to lose some weight, and uh, there is no appetite suppressant quite so effective. as seeing your future self hang brain at 10 o'clock on a Wednesday while you're trying to eat a little lunch with your buddies, you know, it's like, you can't wear a hat inside this building, but you can just let your balls float down to your knees next to the lunch buffet. It's like, It's so bad, and even though I, there was one dude, one day, I saw, I swear to God, this happened. He was wearing a towel, standing at the sink, and he was shaving, but he was doing this. He had his leg up on the counter while he's looking in the mirror, and I'm like, what the, like, I didn't marry you. I shouldn't have to look at what gravity has done to your body over the past three decades. Call Sarah Blakely and get some spanks for your balls. Please do that.